Speaking of dreams, are you a Twin Peaks fan at all? I feel like that keeps coming up in interviews too. Oh yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, man. That's 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 my shit. <laughs> Adrian I've, is I've on a fight Twin Peaks. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I wish. <laughs> no, actually, I don't watch that. I, I don't watch that. I, I couldn't get past <laughs> the second season, but. Oh. Season three is so good, though. Plus, just I got yeah. very strong David Lynch vibes listening to this album for some reason. That's that's yeah. just how it kind of it, it helped that I just rewatched season three again recently. But yeah. there there was a connection there for me. That's that's the shit. And you're you're from up in the Pacific Northwest too. Well, right? I'm, actually, I'm originally from Chicago, but yeah, I'm out in Portland, Oregon now. Yes, that's right. Oh man, yeah, that's that's a good place. Um, yeah, man. So you like live in that shit. That's that's awesome. Um, yeah, D- David Lynch, uh, Twin Twin Peaks, Mulholland Drive, you know, Racerhead, all that shit. Um, I I'm just really started taking the dive into David Lynch stuff in the past couple of years, and um, especially just all of his. Uh, like I, I bought two books of his. One of them is his biography. The other one is just a book where he talks about like ideas and film and creativity and that sort of thing. And his approach to ideas is, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a terrible job paraphrasing this, but I, w- I want to just say it because it's something that's helped me a lot with writing and creativity and shit. It's like um, the way he describes it is that ideas are already out there, like in the universe or whatever you want to call it, and it's a matter of when you. They're, 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 he says that they're like fish, and every once in a while a fish will, you know, yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. It'll come in your direction. You have to catch it. You got to catch it. You got to write it down because it'll attract more fish, and you just keep building on shit. And that that's such a good way to approach, you know, like projects, just to like let something come, and then you have you catch something, and you just build on it forever. Uh, I'll have like a rhythm in my head, like the the rhythm from we've been here before. The da na 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 no na 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 no. I remember I was I was like doing that. R- I was, <laughs> you know, you walk up to the fridge and you open it and then you like just stare, and <laughs> you stare. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was staring in the fridge and I was like tapping on the fridge. And I was like, damn, I gotta fucking put some chords behind that shit. <laughs> <laughs> ran to a keyboard and uh put that together uh so that's like that so it's either like a riff in my head that i'll either try to bring to fruition through putting my hands on some keys or getting on guitar pro and just like fleshing shit out um but yeah it's it's usually like i'll have a uh like a riff or a groove in my head that i'll just try to elaborate on in many different ways 